Do you see how empty Calvary Canyon is right now? It's 5.30 in the morning on the day that Bad Burrito threatened to return for gold. Everybody in town was sound asleep. That is, everyone except for Sheriff Buckles and Deputy Snooks. And the professor. That's right, and the professor. While everyone else was getting some shut-eye, the sheriff and his men were looking for answers. Okay, partners, remember, we need to learn more about Bad Burrito. And his mother. Oh, that's right, his mother too. Don't leave a single page unturned. Whoa, whoa, uh, Professor, Professor, take it easy. Oh, righto. here, the legacy of Bad Burrito. Local man goes from paper boy to dangerous criminal. So he did grow up in Calvary Canyon. Yes, yeah, says here that Bad Burrito grew up in a pretty little home across the way, but ran off as a teenager to live a life of crime. Local authorities state that Bad Burrito is armed and dangerous. But his mother insists that her little boy is just lost. There's his mother again. Yep. Sheriff Buckles, if you intend to solve this mystery, I warrant we'll need to speak to the woman in question. Indeed, but uh, where will we find her? <laughs> What's a feller got to do to get sleep around here with you carrying her on? Yeah, do you mind? We're trying to get our fuck fuck beauty rest! We're gonna get pounded in the morning! Wait, 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 Mama B. I, I don't think we've formally met. I'm Sheriff Sam Buckles. I, I need to ask you a few questions. Are, are you all right? I'm very sad. <laughs> uh, your name, the, the B. That stands for burrito, doesn't it? Mama Burrito? Yes, my name is Mama Burrito. And Baby Burrito. Bad Burrito is my little boy. Now, ma'am, if, if you don't mind, uh, what happened to him? I don't know. When he was young, he was a wonderful boy. I loved him very much. I still love him very much. But one day he got angry at me and he ran away. He changed his name from Baby Burrito to Bad Burrito and he broke his mama's heart. <laughs> man I've ever met. Yes, he has done many wicked things, but I still love him. How could I not love him? I just wish he'd come home again. Hmm. The prodigal son. Huh? Oh, uh, your story just reminds me of the parable of the prodigal son. It's a story that Jesus told in the Bible. Kind of explains God the Father. May I read it to you? Hey, Chicken, would you go rustle yeah. up some folks to help tell this story? My specialty. Thank you. Why don't you tell me? 
you got? Well, folks, my Mama B is Bad Burrito's mother, and she really needs to hear this Bible Ooh. story, so why don't y'all come help me out? Sure. Okay. Sure. two sons, and the younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Don't forget, boys, we have a lot of work to get done in the fields today. Yes, Dad. Father, do we really have to go work in the fields? You have a ton of money set aside for me, and we both know it. But that money is for your protection, son, when I'm gone. It has to remain in the savings until the time is right. Do you love me, Father? Very much. Well, I don't think so. If you loved me, you'd want me to be happy and give me what I want. In fact, I want the money now. The world is so big out there, and the farm is so small. I, I want the inheritance now. So... You don't want my protection or my advice, just my money? All right, my son. You're a man now. You can make your own decisions. Here. Go. But I will miss you. Thanks, Dad. Don't you worry. In a month, I'm going to be rich and famous. Goodbye, my son. I love you. And I'll never stop waiting for you. But the son didn't come home for a long time. And the father's heart grew heavy. He missed his boy, but he never gave up on him. Dad, it's been weeks. Don't you think you should come inside now? I'll never stop waiting for your brother to come home. All right, fine. Meanwhile, the younger son got together all that he had, set off for a distant country, and wasted his money wild living. severe famine in that whole country, and he began to be in need. Do you have any food? Do you remember me? I I'm so hungry. Uh, get lost! We're all hungry! So he went and hired himself out to a citizen of that country who sent him into the fields to feed his pigs. Oh. Here you go, pigs. You got something to eat. Oh, I can eat this. Oh, no, what am I doing? Oh, even my father's servants have plenty of food, and I'm here starving to death. Suddenly, the prodigal son understood just how wicked he had been and how much he had lost when he left his father but he knew what he needed to do. I need to go home. Uh, ask my father to take me back. Though I, I really don't deserve that. I, I know, I'll, 
I'll ask him to take me back as one of his servants. I'll say, Father, uh, I've sinned against heaven and against you. I, I'm, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Yeah, I think that might work. So he got up and went to his father, but while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. Son? It's my son! Oh, welcome home! Aren't you? Oh, you smell like a barnyard. But, but I don't care. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Father, I, I've, I've sinned against heaven and against you. I'm, I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. What are you talking about? You'll always be my son. Hurry, bring my best robe. Put shoes on his feet and a ring on his finger. Put steaks on the barbecue. We're going to celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and now he's alive. He was lost and now he's found. Meanwhile, the older son was working in the field. And when he came home, he heard the music and dancing. Excuse me, uh, can you tell me what's going on here, please? Your brother came home! Uh, I bet my dad gave him a good stern talking to. No, actually, he threw him a party! What? for you. Not once have I ever disobeyed your orders. You drove my brother a barbecue. You never even threw me a, a pizza party. But my little brother squanders your money with wicked people. And when he comes home, you do this for him? Chicken dancing? Son, you're always with me. And everything I have is yours. But we have to celebrate. For your brother was dead and now he's alive. He was lost and now he is found. We must celebrate. Don't be angry with what your brother has done. Celebrate his return. Okay? Sure. <laughs> so you see, Mama B, God understands how you feel. God is the father in that story. And when we turn away from God, it breaks his heart. But he's always waiting for us to change our ways and come back to him. Just like you're waiting for your boy to come home. I didn't know God cared about my little boy. Mama B, God cares about everybody. Mama B, why do you always hide when Bad Burrito comes to town? I was afraid of what you'd think if you knew he was my son. Well, Mama B, we think Bad Burrito needs to see you. I think that's a great idea. We ain't mad at you, Mama B. And we ain't mad at Bad Burrito anymore. Come stay with us. Yeah, Bad Burrito just needs to see the love of his mama. And yeah. the love of God. Especially yeah. the love of God, Johnny Hay. In fact, Sheriff, I think this might just work. Let's give it a shot. Surprise, little chickens! Now you'll taste my wrath! pounds of gold. Well, that's too bad for you. Bad Boris, release the attack donkey! <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, Bad Zippy! Well, 
that was random. Fine! Okay, you win that round, Sheriff Buckwheat, but I'm not through yet. I am going to mash you like a potato. I am going to tumble you like a tumbleweed. I'm going to... Baby burrito? M Mama, what, what, uh, um, um, I wasn't, you know, uh, gonna, you know, do any of that. I miss you, son. I wish you would come home. Well, I miss you too. But, but, Thunder Mama, I can't come home no more. I'm a bandit now. We do big bandit things. And besides, these people wouldn't give me the time of day anyway. Oh, sure we would. Bad Burrito, your mama loves you. And God loves you also. I don't know why you ran away, but it really doesn't matter to me. I love my baby burrito, and I want to bring you home. I don't understand. You, you folks don't want to put a Lego in my boot? You don't want to fry me like bad okra? And you don't want to put me in prison? Duh. He is bad guy. But God loved us. He loved us even when we were bad guys. So now we love you too. I haven't heard of this God before. You say he loves bad guys? So much that he died to pay for their sins. God can forgive you, bad burrito, and give you a new shot at life if you follow him. He did it for me. And me. And me. And me. And me. And me. He can do it for you, too. I don't know. I, I think it's too late for me and bad Boris. Oh, don't be ridiculous, my good, uh, bad fella. It ain't never too late, bad burrito. When you ask Jesus to come into your heart, he gives you another shot. In fact, the Bible says that if any man is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone and the new's come. Yeah. He can give you another chance. He will welcome you into his family. Yeah, he can help us go from enemies to friends. Yeah. Well, if you folks can be kind to a bully like me because of him, I'd like to get to know him a little better. How do I do that? Well, confess your sins, ask God to forgive you, and let him give you abundant new life, e eternal life. You can live with God in heaven one day, and he'll give you a new shot at life right here and now. This sounds like a good deal. Please you know it. come home, baby burrito. All right. I want to come home, and I want God to give me this new life. All right. All right. All right. I, I want you so we, we need to pray, okay? So let's just take a knee here. Just repeat after me, okay? Dear God, dear, dear, dear God, God, I'm sorry that I've been a, a bully. I'm, I'm sorry that, that I've been, been a bully. bully. Please forgive me for my sins. Please, Please forgive, forgive me for, me for my, my sins. sins. Help me to... To act like your child. Help me to act like your child. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, well folks, I, I am truly a, a apologetic for, for all the trouble I've caused around here, especially you, Sheriff Buckles. Ah, uh, don't sweat it, Bad Burrito. Yeah, we can forgive you the way God forgives us. Well, thanks. Hey, uh, Bad Boris, we need to find Bad Zippy, go pack up our camp, and move on home to Cowery Canyon. Yeah. Oh, I do not think Bad Zippy is a good name. Oh, you're right. Come to think of it, I guess Bad isn't a good name for two outlaws that God's oh. forgiven, either. From now on, you can call me Big Burrito. <laughs> I will just be Boris. Zippy, we're gonna show you around. And we're gonna play games, and we're gonna play hopscotch, and we're gonna play leapfrog. Woohoo! And come right over here, and this is my favorite place to play checkers, and we're gonna play hide and seek. And then we're gonna Um, wait, uh, bad burrito. Uh, big burrito. Oh, my bad. Uh, I see what you, you uh, bad, big burrito, sorry. Uh, you said that you would uh, tell us what happened to Sheriff Taco? Yeah, what happened? Actually, 
I said I'd show you what happened to Sheriff Taco, and, and that's a real dilly of a story. <laughs> you, you see, he got himself into a real pickle of a situation. I stuffed him in the pickle barrel. Wait, that's it? Well, it, it was kind of on accident, but kind of on purpose. Come to see. <laughs> Ziffy, will you help? for stuffing in that barrel. Yeah, I'm not, sorry about that. You know, when I, when I left Calvary Canyon, I thought being an outlaw was my only option, but, but now I've come to know the love of a mama and a God that won't stop waiting for you to come home. <laughs> that is good news. We yeah. should celebrate. Yeah. 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 So, uh, Sheriff Taco, do you want to be sheriff again? Nah, that's okay. I think I need a vacation. Besides, I think you're doing a great job, Sheriff. Well, you're welcome back anytime. Uh, let's go join the others and Thank celebrate. You, yeah, Thank you for coming. I wanted to talk a little bit about what you've seen here this week. No, I'm big burrito. Aren't you glad? Yes. Yes. But, but you know what? When, when they first asked me to play bad and big burrito, I, I kind of thought, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I, you know, like most of you, I, I think I'm a pretty good guy. I don't know much about being mean, right? But then as I, as I read through what you've seen this week, the other night, do you remember when Laura Jane learned about her outlaw heart? You know, it reminded me that what I was like before Jesus, that I had an outlaw heart too. And what do we do when we have an outlaw heart? Everybody sin it! We sin, we, we lie, we cheat, we steal, and we disobey our parents, things like that. And pretty soon, we start looking like what? We look like an outlaw, right? Yeah. And you know what? The sheriff taught you the other night? God can't have outlaws in heaven, right? And that our, the bad news is our sin, all those things we do as an outlaw need to be punished. But what's the good news? But the good news is what? While, while we were still outlaws, God loved us, right? And he sent Jesus. It's such good news, we put it on the back of your t-shirt so you'll remember it. While we were sinners, Christ died for us, right? And so if we accept Jesus and what he did, we can give him our outlaw clothes. And like the father tonight, he wants to give us a brand new set of clothes and a ring. And I think about like here, instead of a sheriff's little badge, it says child of God on it. And the best part is he'll give us a new heart that can learn to love him with the help of the Holy Spirit. So if any of you are interested in what Jesus has done for you, if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord, I'd like to ask you to consider that. Just like Bora said tonight, 
That is good deal, right? And the professor the other night, imminently practical. So I hope that's what you'd like to do if that's the case. I'm going to lead you in a prayer. If you could just repeat after me, and we'll talk to God, okay? Dear God, I admit that I'm an outlaw. And I've disobeyed you. And that deserves to be punished. Thank you for sending Jesus to take the punishment I deserve. Please give me a new heart and a new life in you. Amen. Now do me one more favor. Make sure you talk to your parents, other relatives, and your friends about what you learned here this week, okay? Thanks very much. Have a good night.